So with Quincy, I mean, is that not the single, like, from our lifetime, the best play as far as that one? Why is that play against Miami? Well, Regardless of the way the play, the game ended. Yeah, I'm a little older, so the Penn State, the Penn State play with Major Harris is, is probably my uh, See, I don't know. I mean, Quincy literally just trucked. Yeah. And well, we, but we, we sucked. We weren't very true. good at that. We were like one and three. Yeah. Yeah, but yes, uh, that was as far as effort. You're probably right. I mean, first of all, if you go back and look at those guys that he outran, yes, they were all number one draft picks, including including the guy uh, Mayweather or Mayweather, Mayweather, Mayweather. who actually played in the. I guess he got the last laugh. He played in the league for like 15 years. (laughs) And uh, Vince Wolfork, they mentioned him. Jonathan Vilma. I mean, he outran a bunch of pros. And we'll have to ask him in a couple weeks. We'll ask him a couple weeks. Yeah, he would have went. He would have had a longer pro career because these yeah, he had those bad knee injuries. Sounds like quite as old as Brett. Obviously, the major one year, two right. Mm-hmm. eighteen months. Okay. But the uh, the major play obviously is a great play. But you know, I actually don't remember that actually seeing it, I've seen the replay a thousand times. I don't remember it. But the Quincy run, definitely. Oh. There was a there was a couple runs by Pat Wyatt against Central Florida. South Florida. South Florida. South, yeah. Right? And like, it wasn't televised, and I remember Carini going, "That might be the best play yeah. I've ever seen in my life." And we're like, "Are you serious yeah, right no, now no on the one, radio?" No one could see it. <laughs> it's on YouTube now. I may watch it a couple weeks ago because remember that game got moved to the end of the year because there was a, was a hurricane. hurricane. Yeah, yeah, that is true. I can literally see Brent's face talking about this. <laughs> it's getting so exciting right now. <laughs> I'm telling you, where I've been bored and there's been no sports, I've just been going through YouTube and watching old literally WB. Said, I might have just watched that a couple weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> I literally just watched those runs by Pat White a couple weeks ago. You know, Justin's dad makes fun of me, too. Not makes fun of me, but he always comments about me. Actually compliments me. Oh, he, yeah. tells, he told my mom, he said, I've never met someone who's... He literally can tell you when they line up, where the ball's going. He said, there's a flag on the field before a ref has even done it. <laughs> and Brent's like, here comes the flag. Yep. What's it for? Is it holding? No, no, no. It, it's actually a little 3B. <laughs> I, I always thought it was funny growing up because uh, school, he put forth very little effort. No. Made. Uh, what, the average enough to get by, maybe yeah. some C's thrown in there. But, oh, um, no, I was I told the story. I got kicked off the middle school basketball yeah, team because right. I didn't oh, make yeah. a 2.0. But you could literally ask him any sports stat, and he could spit it off just like that. Here's a funny story. Here's the honest to God truth. Third grade, and then we can move on. Third grade, when you have to learn your multiplication tables, I did my ones, my twos, and then the next one I knew were my sevens because I played mad at football. <laughs> I remember my teacher was Miss Gibson. I walked up to her desk and I, I was like, I, we had a chart in the back of the room. And I was like, I want to do my sevens. And she was like, Brent, you haven't done anything else. I was like, I know touchdowns. I want to do my sevens. <laughs> I did. And I may have stole kids stickers from that and put it on mine so I didn't have to do all the